Well, this is not a fun fact. It is an interesting fact and an important fact. And that is that Israel has a missile defense system called the Iron Dome, which knocks our enemies' missiles and rockets right out of the sky. Shalom, my friends. This is the Keeper Gersh with Israel in 5, where we give you everything Israel in five minutes. Please like and subscribe. And if you have any questions or want to keep the conversation going, please do so below in the comments. The Iron Dome has saved so many lives here in Israel, we can't even count. Since it was put into use in 2011, this has been a lifesaver many times over for the Israeli population. Let's zoom out a little bit and understand its use and its importance and its necessity. We know that for many, many years, Israel has been attacked by enemies on all of its borders, going back to the beginning of the state, even before the beginning of the state. But in 2001, rockets started to fly out of the Gaza Strip towards Israel and into Israel. And that started a whole kind of process of self-defense, uh, different phases of self-defense for the country. Now, even before that time, when rockets were falling in the north of Israel, out of Lebanon, Israel started to develop safe rooms. Uh, in people's homes. And eventually it became law that every new home had to have a safe room, a mamad as we call it in Hebrew. And this is a place, this is a room that looks like a regular room, often could be used as a bedroom or a guest room or an office in someone's house, but it is made out of super thick walls, has a special door and a special window that could be sealed. And family members will go into that room in case of a rocket attack. Now these rooms have been installed again into all new homes in Israel. And even sometimes people add on an extra room into their house to join this into their house if their house was built before uh, this law was put into place. Now, in addition to these, there have been community bomb shelters since forever in this country. All right? And you still see them standing. You still see them in use. Uh, you have a door on street level. You go downstairs into the ground and there's a whole room there that could fit you know, dozens and dozens of people. And unfortunately, Israelis have used these bomb shelters, these community bomb shelters, many, many times. But in people's homes now, the typical home has its own bomb shelter that people in the house will go into in case of need. But in addition to that, eventually, as a result of more and more rockets being fired at Israel from the Gaza ship, again, starting in 2001, Israel developed the Tseva Adom uh, warning system, which means code red, basically. And this will be a, 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 a blast of a siren. Uh, in the neighborhood, in the community, in the area, in the region where rockets are coming into. And it was like, Seba Dome, Seba Dome. People will hear it and they know that right away, immediately, they need to run for cover. They need to run for safety, for shelter, into the nearest bomb shelter that they can find, whether that's a community bomb shelter in their house or apartment or somebody else's house uh, or apartment. Um, but above and beyond that, now all these things are great. They protect lives. They save, uh, they save on people. They save people's lives. But it wasn't enough. All right. What needed to be happened, what needed to happen was the next big step. And that came in 2011. And that was uh, the Iron Dome system. This was something that was years in the making and was implemented uh, in a war against the Hamas terror organization already uh, back then, 2011, 2012, and uh, was used to knock out rockets coming from the Gaza Strip. And it's an incredible, sophisticated system that basically detects, this computer system detects a rocket coming into Israel. It does a quick calibration mathematics and sees, is it going to land in a populated area or not? If it's going to land in an open area where there's no people, the system does nothing. Uh, of course, the Seva Dome uh, warning system goes off and people still run for their shelters, right? But the rocket is allowed to fall. It lands in an area, no one's hurt, nothing's damaged. But if the rocket is going to be landing into an area that is populated, the Iron Dome system then shoots a rocket quicker than the first one that's being fired at Israel and knocks it out of the sky and saves people's lives. Now, because it's a very sophisticated system and it advanced, these rockets are very expensive. About You hear different numbers, but at least $50,000 per rocket. And usually these rockets fired by the terrorists might sometimes cost a few hundred dollars, maybe a thousand dollars. So financially, it's it's very very not equal, but of course, in terms of saving lives, uh, it's it's priceless. And the Iron Dome system has been used over the past 11, 12 years, multiple 
multiple times. Uh, it's been used many times in this war since October 7th, many times, uh, in order to save lives. And when people talk about the, the differences in casualty deaths in, in wars between Israel and its enemies, specifically in the, in the Gaza Strip, that's because we invest in our people. We invest in the protection of our people, the safety and security of our people. And the Iron Dome is, is one of the best examples, if not the best example, of how serious the country of Israel takes its citizens' safety and security, putting so much R&D and so much money, so much funding into the Iron Dome. We have uh, Iron Dome you know, kind of batteries all over the country, down south, up north, in the center, um, so that the entire country can be protected. And uh, it's a blessing, and it's an incredible modern-day miracle uh, for the Jewish people in the Jewish homeland that we have such a thing to fight against our enemies.